Hello, Stan from GPT for Sheets and Docs here, and I'm going to teach you how to set up your API key once you have installed the GPT for Sheets and Docs add-on. So first things first, uh, make sure that you have installed the add-on. So go to extensions, and you should see GPT for Sheets and Docs, or from Google Docs extensions, you should see it here. If you don't, uh, watch my video where I teach you how to install it. Um, okay. Back to the API key. So before you try setting it up, uh, and I repeat, this is just a, a one-time operation. You do not need to do this every time you want to use the add-on on a new spreadsheet or a new document. Um, you will need to make sure that you are in a dedicated Chrome profile with only one Google account logged in. What does it mean? It means if you click on your avatar at the top right, you will see only one account here. If you see more accounts, you unfortunately risk running into a multi-account issue uh, that affects all Google add-ons. So you will need to create a new uh, Chrome profile just for that account. It only takes one minute. I will put a link uh, in the de video description with clear steps as to how to do it. Um, and then you need to make sure that you have an active OpenAI account. So beware of expired or inactive free trials. What does it mean? It means that first of all, you have an OpenAI account. So if you go to OpenAI, uh, platform.openai.com slash overview, and you do not have an account, you will need to sign up. Myself, I will log in and I will log with my Google account. Okay, I am logged in. And now in order to make sure that my account is active, I will go to the playground and I will type hello here, click submit and I got a response. This means that my account is active. If you get an error, it will appear here. Instead of looking for ChatGPT, you will get a red banner uh, telling you your account uh, needs to be, uh, uh, you have a billing uh, problem. So if you run into that issue, it is very easy to solve. You just go to your account here and then manage account, go to billing and if you are the owner of your account, you will uh, be able to, you will have a button to set a payment method. So you will be able to do this. Then go back to the playground, test it again. And once it, it works, uh, you can move on to the next step. The next step is to create an API key. So for this, you go to, again, click on the top right, uh, click on view API keys, and then create new secret key. I will delete this key at the end of the video, by the way. Uh, so copy it, and then you can go to either to extensions here uh, in a spreadsheet and then set API key. And then here and check. Okay, it is valid. This means that it is uh, there is no typo. Uh, it doesn't mean that the API key is active, however. Uh, again, you need to make sure of that by going to the playground to make sure your account is active. And then I save. I could have done exactly the same thing um, from Google Docs here, set API key. And here, since I just set one, it tells me an API key has already been set. Okay, uh, so now I will test that it works. So. For this, it is very easy. In a spreadsheet, I need to enable GPT functions first. And this, uh, this enabling needs to be done on every new spreadsheet that you want to use the add-on in. Okay. And then I will type GPT and just hello. And if the API key is correctly set, it will get back to me. And now I can ask it anything. So GPT, write a tagline for a car shop, for example. And there we go. Uh, okay, thank you for listening. I hope uh, this small uh, procedure is easy enough to uh, follow for you. Do not hesitate to ask questions uh, in the comments if you have some. Uh, thank you for listening.